was yours? Are you ready? Are you ready to live your life? Are you ready? Come on, are you ready? To live your dream, to live your life, to live your best life. Are you ready to live your best life? No, for real, are you ready to live your best life? We're gonna do the hard work now. So here's the hard work. I need you to confront you. All righty, all righty. Let's stop that. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a fantastic Friday. It's been a great week, and we are here at the end of it. Start of the weekend, start of the week, depending on how you perceive things, depending on what your timetable looks like. No, I just. Jake. Good morning. Good morning. Good, good morning. I'm glad you're able to get that video playing. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, and you obviously see why I chose that one. So I thought it was really fitting for the theme that uh, that you had this week. So thanks yeah. for figuring that out. No worries. Great. Thanks for sharing. So I thought I'd play that here so that we could have another listen to it because I was listening to it again last night and it is very powerful. And as Eric Thomas said right at the end there, are you ready to confront yourself? And this is such a message that I hold so strong when I referred to trading being the biggest personal development program ever. Because if you want to grow and develop and change the things that we've been talking about all week in trading, you have to grow and develop and change outside of the outside of trading. And how do you do that? You confront yourself. You confront your flaws. You confront your strengths. You confront your weaknesses. You confront your fears. And you confront every little bit of your life that you are able to track, evaluate, and grow with. So it's extremely important to gather all areas and do that self-evaluation. So I just wanted to share that with everyone again. I'm glad I'm seeing in the chats, I am ready. Some people are really ready to change their lives, continuously showing up on these mindset calls, trying to grow your mindset, trying to develop, trying to improve yourself is definitely signs that people here on these calls are ready and are willing to make the effort and make the changes. So I'm grateful for every single one of you that are showing up today. I feel like my request for those to share their gratitude this morning may have scared a few people away. We've actually got a smaller group than usual today, but that's okay. So today I'm very grateful for those of you that showed up. I'm grateful for those of you that haven't showed up. I'm grateful for those of you that are listening outside of the calls and can't make it. I'm grateful for everyone who has their input and who helps us grow and develop together because I'm always learning just like everyone else on this call. I'm extremely grateful for my little man and the lessons he's learning. He's teaching me. I can learn so much from him. Um, one such lesson is the incredible ability to fall in love with the process. My little man is super fast, I believe. I mean, all parents do, but just go with it. Super fast for his age. And he's almost at the stage of rolling over at three months old or three, three and a bit months old. And he's nearly managed to do this roll over but i just watch him again and again try and try and try and try and he's not mad that he hasn't made it he doesn't really i don't think he understands that he's failing by not rolling over he's just trying and he's just in love with the process and each time he gets a bit further each time he gets a bit more of a technique each time he improves his skill set each time he tries again and again and again he grows a little bit he learns a little bit more and there's no frustration, anger, disappointment. Sometimes he does get a bit disappointed after he gets, I think, exhausted. But for the majority of the time, it's just the process. He just keeps going just over and over again, getting further and further until he achieves something. It was the same for when he was trying to use me to pull himself up. And it's incredible how us as human beings over time, we let society's impact on us Um kind of take away that innocence of just the ability to try without judgment, without feeling like you're failing, without getting upset at yourself or having someone else comment or get upset at you. So I'm very grateful for the the reminders that he gives me of the purity of 
the process and consistently giving effort, um, which I found really kind of amazing yesterday. So that's my little takeaway. But today, like I said before, uh, like I said yesterday, I'd like those who are showing up to jump in, get a little bit out of their comfort zone, share your gratitude with us today. Now, we've only got a few people here, so it'd be good if we could all share what we're grateful for, speak out loud. Um, I know some people, so certain circumstances where they can't, and especially because it's so early in the mornings, but if you have the ability to open your mic, please feel free and share with us what you're grateful for today, for this week, and maybe for um, the lessons you've learned or the people that you're surrounded by. Deanna, why don't you start us off, if that's okay. Sorry about that. Yes, I just had to get my mic turned on. Um, I was just ready to, um, I was just going to put it in the chat. So I will, instead of putting it in the chat, I will read it out. Perfect. Or Thank or you. say it. I may not completely read what I was going to write. but <laughs> That's all right. Um, so yeah, I, I can certainly do that. So I'm grateful. Actually, my very first thing that I wanted to say, Jake, was that I'm grateful for you and committing to these mindset calls. Like the, I know that there's, you know, there's extra effort each day and each week that goes into organizing and being ready um, to offer these. So thank you very much for that. I, I, I'm grateful. And it's uh, um, something I'm, I'm really enjoying. I didn't know for me because it was such early morning here in Alberta. I thought, you know, is this something that I'm going to be able to commit to? But I found that it's um, really added to um, my overall uh, just get ready and pre be prepared for the day mindset. And it's so, and I know that's the whole intent of this, right? To be ready to go into my trading session. But then also it, it sets me up for just a, a, this uh, amazing start for the day. So then that goes into the next thing that goes well. And so often then, even if it's a challenge, and that was one of the other things that I'm grateful for, I, I have the mindset to approach um challenges in my life and I have some things we all have you know our stuff that's going on so I have some things that I'm working through but it's given me the patience to to stay level level-headed through these challenges and then make um, like a really appropriate decisions based on um, what is needed for this situation so I'm, I'm grateful to like I say just that whole start of the day flow into um, a, a good day overall and I'm um, also grateful for um, I was able to have a really meaningful, deep conversation with a friend, uh, one of those friends yesterday that um, we don't get together often, but when we do, we just we we connect so well and and be able to talk about more than just the the high level stuff. Like we can go deep into conversations. So that's awesome. I'm grateful for those friends in my life. Yeah, it's really yeah. good to have those deeper, meaningful conversations, and I'm really glad that this chat and this community has helped uh, set you up on your mornings i think that's really it's, awesome so thank been, you for yeah sharing. it's been good really positive um positive way to start the day so thank Perfect. you jake thank I'll you let someone else go on now anyone else want to jump on and feel free to open your mic and let us know what you're grateful for today this week i'll be a little bit superficial i'm glad it's warmer than it was now than it was at the start of the week <laughs> that's all right warm weather is good it's great hey it's those little things that put a smile on your face that bring you joy yeah. if it's just the just the simplicity of warmer weather that's beautiful i had my snowboard out yesterday and i came back home sweaty because it's so much it's only minus three out instead of minus 30 <laughs> no, I, think, I think i got to minus three today so i and i'm complaining so i'm sure it's a it's opposing <laughs> worlds here where i'm super freezing because it's minus three and here you are sweating it's funny it's good that you're grateful for it though Thanks for sharing. Yeah, also grateful for the, the growth that happened over the week, trading and mindset and stuff like that. And still growing, not there yet, but it's on happened, going in the right direction anyway. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a process. It's a process you just got to stick to. Yep. That's for sure. Good on you. Thank you for sharing. Anyone else? Yeah, I'll I'll go. I I'm I'm grateful for this group, but uh, most of all, uh I was I was thinking about this just just now this, the successful shift well that that's opened up your mind and and I'm I'm grateful that I've started to do that I'm 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 grateful for that first book you put out that you know had me kind of upset a little bit because yeah. every second word was swear but then I realized <laughs> you know and I had a conversation with my daughter and and she says Dad I told you it was just a word and she's yeah. only she's 32 and she's told me that since she was 
seven. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of I'm kind of grateful that I got past that point. But you know that that's growth, and I'm I'm grateful for the growth. And of course, I'm grateful for my surroundings around me, my roof, my food, my family, uh, the love. I'm I'm also thought about this yesterday. Um, you know, it's been tough years and, and we're, I'm at the age where we start to lose people. Right. And, mm -hmm. you know, I'm grateful for the people that came before and taught me. Uh, Less. Good lesson. Awesome. And, and, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm grateful. I'm growing. I'm grateful for that video you shared. I watched it yesterday too. And, and the only thing holding me back is me and, and I'm grateful I'm learning that. Right. So, and as you seen yesterday, I put my trades. I only took two trades, Jake. That's I'm proud the, of you, Mike. I'm chat, proud of you. Right? <laughs> you know, so the one I didn't get very many points on because I, you know, I'm I'm still trying to figure out if I should be pushing the button quicker. And and you know, and Teresa's talking in the background, you know, you I'd be up by now. I'd be up by now. And you know, I'm trying to manipulate the computer and my phone. And but yeah. I'm grateful for that because uh, you know, I do get out and I um, it gets better, right? And then I have to be grateful for the weather too, because <laughs> minus twenty and minus thirty is not very much fun around this log house that we live in. That I'm grateful to have over my head. So, but yeah, with that, <laughs> I, I'm just grateful for this group too, and and uh, I, I appreciate that you guys listen sometimes to me because sometimes I rant. And <laughs> it's I, all I'm, good. Mike. I'm grateful for the years. I'm grateful for the years hearing and. Uh, it's amazing yeah. sometimes people say something that uh is uh just hits different opens up yeah yeah it hits and, yeah exactly and, uh, jake i'm grateful for you and sharing about your son and and you know what you've made me open up more so i'm very grateful and, and love you tons and and enjoy this tons and Thanks, uh, Matt. you know i I know I've been missing sometimes, but I, you know I haven't been feeling all that great. But I'm getting better, and one of the things of getting better is is doing things like this, right? So, yeah, thank you fun. very much. I'm glad you're getting better. That's good, and thank you so much for sharing. It's always a pleasure to hear your voice um, whenever you're able to make it, Mike. It's always it's always nice. Anyone else willing to open up and share what they're grateful for this week? Got a couple more people here. We've got some in the chat. I'm so grateful for this group, the support and encouragement I get, the belief that I can be a disciplined, successful trader. Yep, definitely. Anyone else want to open up their mic? It's a good time to just sort of step into that fear zone. It's a very safe place and just get out of that comfort zone. It feels quite invigorating when you it's, it might be nervous at the start, but when you finally do it, you're like, ah, oh, yes, I made a step forward. I broke a barrier. Oh, it's <laughs> snowing. <laughs> I'm okay, so so, so all, for all of you that are in minus 20 degrees all the time, it's the first day snowing here for us this year. And uh, my partner just came in and shook my shoulder and it's snowing outside. Hooray! I'm like, I'm from Australia, from Perth. We don't have snow. So I'm like a little child whenever I see it fall. So excuse my complete tangent, but it's snowing here and I'm excited about it. I'm grateful for the snow. All right. Thank you everyone for sharing. Thanks for... um those who opened up and shared and thanks for those who shared in the chat and i really appreciate everyone now the reason i wanted everyone to express their gratitude and try and step out of that comfort zone and start the practice because i want to go into a little bit more detail on actually what gratitude does for us so basically when you find gratitude what you're essentially doing is shifting your mind and thoughts in a way that allows you to look at a situation from a positive point of view. Remember how I was talking about relearning and as you grow and develop, you can actually take in information from a different point of view from you've got greater knowledge. Now you can get a better understanding of a point. So this is kind of what finding gratitude is. We're shifting our mindset to a place of positive energy to a positive point of view. We are recalling a situation, a thing or a person and aiming to review them in a, in a positive light. So as you can see, like the fact of being grateful, the definition is feeling or showing an appreciation for something or doing something. So it's an actual feeling, right? And when we say our gratitude, the idea here is to connect an emotion because verbalizing while verb, our words are very important, verbalizing stuff can just be a process that just we do. 
But what we really want to do when we're finding gratitude is think about what we're talking about and actually imagine what I want you to do when you've got some gratitude, when you've got, next time you think about something you're grateful for, imagine what your life would be like without that thing and you never had it. And then think about how that makes you feel. Think about how you would feel if you didn't have the very thing that you're being grateful for. And it hits your emotions quite hard sometimes. Like, and depending on what you're grateful for, it can hit them very hard. But what we want to try and do is associate a positive emotion with the thing we're finding gratitude for. And in turn, we're doing kind of what um, Deanna's meditation does. We're trying to bring a positive feeling from the inside. We're bringing that internal smile. We're feeling grateful and happiness for something, someone. And that then radiates out. And what this does is it sets the tone for the day ahead. If you do it in the morning, it sets the tone for the morning into the afternoon. If you do it at night, it sets the tone for sleeping and going into the next, waking up in the next day. And so it's really important to attach this emotion and this feeling towards what we're finding gratitude for. Now, if we're going to get a little bit, let's say, well, first of all, I want you to do a visual a visualization. So I want you to quickly imagine a time in your life, just a memory where you felt complete euphoria, just that feeling of absolute elation. You were super excited. And you know that feeling where you're just warm inside and fuzzy and everything's just amazing. I want you to picture that or imagine that, or, you know, you can utilize this and call it your happy place. Um, thank you. Happy Gilmore. Um, think about your happy place and think about how that makes you feel. And when we find gratitude, what we're trying to do is kind of reenact that feeling. And just like Deanna's meditation, we want to build up that happy emotion, that positive energy from inside us by finding gratitude, by being grateful for the things that we're doing and attaching emotion to it, and then radiating this out of our bodies so that we can actually shift our entire perspective and our entire physical being in, in, a, in, a, in a subatomical aspect to a positive vibration, to something that's got good vibrations moving forward, right? So just having a look in the chat, my answer to it's only a word. Words have meaning and carry messages both in the word and about you. Yes, they do. They definitely do, especially with the intent that we use them. Um, so yeah, I want you to think about that happy place. And then I want you to imagine if you felt that way when while you're in your happy place, every morning that you woke up, and every night before you bed, before you went to bed, imagine if you could have that same feeling, that same over excited happiness, elation, whatever you want to call it, every morning when you woke up, and every night before you went to bed, your whole life would be different. If we had the ability to take ourselves from a negative state and find gratitude, shift our emotions, attach that emotions, move to whatever state of mind we possibly could in a positive sense and remove that negativity from us. Think about how much more powerful you would be with control over your body. You could remove yourself from arguments. You could remove yourself from stressful situations. Now, I'm not saying that by just saying you're grateful for things every morning, click your fingers and you're the superhero who can just remove all negative emotion. No, but what I am saying is by continuously practicing gratitude and going through the motion, creating a habit, repetition of thinking positive thoughts to such an extent that creates positive feeling with positive emotions, which in turn leads us to perform positive outgoing actions. It's really hard to be mad at someone when you're full of love and happiness. Try get in a fight when you're just elate, elate, like overflowing with joy. It's just not going to happen. You know, yelling at someone who's just complimented you seems really ridiculous. So if you're the person who's vibrating high and you can share the positive words and the compliments, People are going to find it really hard to be mad, angry, and frustrated at you. So it's not just about looking at things that, oh, yeah, I like that. It's about shifting our entire internal being to a positive um, to a positive state. There was actually a study done in the neuroscience of gratitude. Oh, 
called, called the neuroscience of gratitude and how it affects anxiety and grief from McCarty and coll and colleagues. This was in 1998. Basically, it found participants who consistently showed gratitude also showed much lower test results in the level of the stress hormone cortisol. So for those that, of you that don't know, our circadian rhythm basically is run from cortisol and melatonin. Cortisol wakes us up in the mornings, melatonin is low, and then at night when it gets dark, we kind of shift our cortisol goes low and our melatonin goes high, and this is what makes us sleepy and drowsy and sends, sends us off to bed. And then when we have light infrastructure, like light input, like TV screens, monitors, all that sort of stuff, it actually increases our cortisol levels, which keeps us awake, which kind of messes with our circadian rhythm. However, this study proved to have that people who continuously showed gratitude had lower cortisol levels now this is actually great for cardiac functioning um, and if you're having reduced cortisol and you're finding gratitude at night reducing these levels it's just going to allow for a better sleep put some ones in the chat if you've gone to bed and just stared at the roof thinking 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 usually actually just put some ones in the chat if you've laid awake and stared at the roof thinking about stuff A few people here, right? Now, sometimes, like the day before Christmas, they're positive thoughts, but the majority of the time, they're usually negative stress thoughts. Correct? Put some twos in the chat if they're usually negative stress thoughts. If they are one, if they are positive thoughts, great. Chuck some threes in the chat. But most of the time, they're that negative kind of thought. So if we're staying awake because higher stress levels, because we're thinking negative thoughts, if we found the gratitude before we went to bed, reducing our cortisol levels, putting ourselves in a positive state of mind, this in turn actually allows us to sleep better. And I'm sure lots of you know exactly what better sleep does for us. It, it compounds on a whole bunch of different levels. So I didn't want to get too sciencey, but a little bit of um, biology never hurts. And so I just wanted you to understand the process of why we find gratitude and what it can actually do for us. Now, as it is a Friday recap, I just want to go over the the week that we had starting on Monday with that um, brilliant quote from Brianna Weist, Weist, I don't know how to say that, but I think it's something along those lines and how our new life is going to cost, cost us our old life. And we should be ready for that change and for, you know, peeling back that new, like that old layer of skin and becoming this new person. We then talked about the cost of not tracking, not evaluating, not doing the things on the charts and how that can actually cost us both financially and in, in personal growth in our trading journal journey then on wednesday we talked about how important it is to kind of open up the mind to allow ourselves to learn and relearn without judgment and understand that we come at things with a different frame of mind and a different knowledge and with different knowledge we can come at it with different perspective and take different lessons then thursday we had deanna share her thoughts on limiting beliefs in that lovely video that we're watching just before and today, I just wanted to wrap it up with a little bit of why we are doing this gratitude and why it's important to us and how finding gratitude can shift our emotions because it will allow us to look at situations from a positive frame, positive state of mind, rather than a negative one, and thus hopefully allow us to be more open and judge and judgmental free, that's not right, and show less judgment um, towards certain situations, which can allow us to intake more information and allow us to grow and develop and start to shed that um, shed that old skin and become the new person that we're hoping to be. So with that, um, we have pretty much run out of time today. I really appreciate everyone jumping in. I'm just going over the chat here, and I agree with you. I guess what I'm learning to do is not let these words set me off as trigger words. I still am not someone that would be using swear words. Yeah, so I think... Um, trigger words are very important and understanding what sets you off and what doesn't set you off. And I think actually, you know, evaluating yourself and confronting yourself, like we spoke, well, like Eric Thomas said at the very start of this call is important. So I'm grateful. Sorry. I'm just going back a little bit more. I've been told recently by my granddaughter that words that I see such here as swear words are only words. Yes. It's a very common thing. And I'm actually quite passionate in the sense of swear words or profanities are actually just a further expression of emotion 
um, usually they should be used to exert greater expression or greater resentment or whatever the word may be. However, they do get overused and they do get used as filler words, which can um, ruin the extent of their power. And I think that using profanities personally, um, if they're used in the right manner, that, like some people say that using uh, profanities shows lack of intelligence or vocabulary, but I think it's quite the opposite if you're using them in the right context. Um, but that is just my two cents worth because obviously you may hear me swear every now and again when I get passionate and when I start to have a bit of a one of my rants, but um, it's definitely a use usage issue, I think, and lots of the younger kids just tend to drop it left, right, and center. But I mean, I was guilty of that when I was young too, so I can't judge. Yes, we can transform our emotions from a negative state to a positive state when we make a commitment to ourselves to do the work, to find joy in our lives. Each and every day we live a more level, calmer, productive life. Couldn't agree more. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Super grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Trying traders, I'll see you in a minute. And to everyone else, I hope you have a fantastic weekend and we shall see you on Monday. Bye for now. Thank you very much, Jake. Thanks, Mike.